The find comes at Caliber Mining's Golden Eagle Project site, about three miles northwest of Republic. It's a town rooted in the mining and logging industries, founded by gold prospectors and originally named Eureka Gulch, just one in a number of Washington cities with a chance to shine and grow during the gold rush. Little old Seattle at the time recognized the opportunity to market itself as the gateway to those gold fields. The National Park Service's Klondike Gold Rush Museum reveals how the economic boom transformed the region, first home to the Coast Salish tribes and later a relatively small number of settlers into a global connector. Prospectors gearing up with tools and supplies as they prepared to travel to the Yukon with dreams of striking it rich. Brought railroads, built docks and uh, constructed the modern city that we see today. And then that became more of a global connection by having the port here and the connections first to Alaska and then to Asia, really the through line to a lot of the modern industry and technology. We don't know yet what Caliber's announcement will mean for the state. Many Washingtonians pan for their own gold on a much smaller scale. The Department of Natural Resources offering this map of sites that may host some. Extracting gold from a site like Golden Eagle and panning for gold are obviously far different, but recreational panning is allowed without a permit. You can find specific rules through DNR. Back to you.